Ooh, hello there my fellow Scars, good times with Scar here, and welcome to a new Let's Play on the brand new game releasing soon called Blockhood. Now Blockhood is an amazing resource and city building game built with a great premise of balance and ecology and all sorts of good things of creating a harmonious island for your people to live upon. But like I said, it's an island made up of blocks and you place your, you know, your homes and your shops and all sorts of different things like that together to create one super awesome city. So let's get right into it and as you can see there are some options to start off here we have challenges sandbox and tutorial now how do we recommend going through the tutorial i've already done that so we can go straight into what i think is a good start the sandbox all right so we're gonna hit play and away we go so here is your island that we just talked about and as you can see we can uh, jump right into it and start kind of going over some things so of course here's your menu to go home and then here are some of the different things that we'll be going over soon. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options and different things like that. And the game is brand new. So the game is just kind of releasing as an early access game. So there's a lot of kind of tweaking and things that will take place. And one, one little thing that I think would be cool is if we could, uh, you know, change the opacity of this bar down here. Because when you zoom in, it's really difficult to see the different uh, little uh, icons down here. Just a little thought. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to create a harmonious environment for our people to live. So we're going to go over to our analysis. All right, so we're going to pull that up and we're going to hit the K key. There we go. So as you can see, we've got some money. But every time we introduce a new object within the world, we are going to start uh, to change things up a little bit. So I'm going to put down this tree to show you guys how things start up. As you can see, now we are producing fresh air, but we also are negative in the water department because that little tree needs some water, right? So next thing we need to do is start to balance this out by creating some form of water source. So we have a small well. I'm just gonna do this one just to start off just to give you guys a sense. It's like this. So as you can see, we place that down and now we're gonna start to produce water. But how do we know, Scar, if it's producing water? Well, here we go. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to rotate it around. And as you can see, we're now facing the tree and it's producing water towards the tree and we are, let's see, there we go. So as you can see, the rate of production is moving up and we're starting to create water. So that's kind of the basic premise. You add a block, it's gonna take resources, it's gonna give resources. So it's really pretty cool. All right, so I think this game could also be incredibly educational. Next thing we need to learn is corridors. Yes, so corridors, now as you can see, they're inputs. So this is what they're gonna be taking from us and their outputs are going to be what they're giving us. Now, there's some good, there's some bads to any of those things. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to build a quarter. That's right. I'm going to build a little quarter. So this is kind of how we connect things. Now, don't make the mistake that I made. And I want to show you guys the mistake that I made. And uh, here it is. This is a sand pile. And sometimes I goofed it up and I've created quarters and uh, I realized, oh, screw guard those are those are sand piles but anyway as you can see we need these corridors to connect to objects to allow resources to be distributed amongst different buildings all right so as you can see our money is starting to go down because of the corridors are subtracting from our balance but you can see that our water and our fresh air so we're actually producing fresh air and a little bit of leisure and it looks like a what is that it looks like a little loaf of bread right there i love it all right, so my friends, let's go over here to our building tab. So this is where we can find our, you know, our apartments and our homes and shops and educational items. So what we could find here is a retail shop, just to kind of show you how things are. So inputs, it needs labor, electricity, consumers, but it outputs money. And everybody loves money, right? But we can't get there right. We cannot get there yet. So we're going to start out with a small flat. So as you can see, we are going to click that. All right, and now we're going to find a great place to place it. So I'm going to start over here. And as you can see, I'm going to take my R key and I'm going to start to rotate it so that the little door faces our corridor. There we go. And I'm just going to build maybe like, we're going to build three of these bad boys. There we go. Looking good, looking good, my friends. Awesome. Having fun here. Okay, okay, right, here we go. And as you can see, we introduced a crazy amount of new things into our world. Our electricity is going down, our water is tanking, and our money is plummeting. So we need to make some fixes. As you can see, organic waste, consumer, things of that nature, especially gray water, those things are also going up, but they're not good things. I almost think that they shouldn't be in the green if they're a negative aspect. 
just a little uh, suggestion. Okay, so moving on over here, we're going to start to fix some of these problems that we've introduced into our world. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get some power going. That's right. We're going to start getting some power. So we're going to actually add some little windmills. There we go. And we've got a decent amount of money. So I'm just going to put down a couple of these guys over here. Looking good, looking good so far. And as you can see, we have our water. So what we're going to do also is we're going to make sure that these things are connected. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and if I, let's see if I can remember the right thing. There we go. This is the right thing. Okay. This helps us do decide if we have decay within our buildings. Now decay happens when we're not giving them the resources that they need. So we click that and you can see our, our flats are going down hard. So we're going to need to fix those immediately. They're, they could come crumbling down on us and it would be sad and, and it would just be a whole thing. So we need to fix that. Okay. So fresh air is an issue. Fresh air is an issue. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to plant another tree. And if we want to kind of rotate a little bit, we can just rotate around our island. Now you might also be wondering, Scott, what if I want to go vertical? Well, you can, you can start building these things vertical because of course we're going to run out of real estate eventually. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start to add some of these. So this will be kind of our field where we have some of our resources and it's not the best organized, but the most part, I just want this to be kind of a, a little bit of a showpiece for you guys to kind of understand some of the things. So as you can see, we have a bit of a flashing issue. That's right. These things are flashing red. That means they are going to become destroyed if they do not receive the resources that they need. So as you can see, fresh air is still an issue within the world. So I'm just going to continue to add some more trees and different things along those lines. I love the art style. I really love the simplicity of it. And it really kind of just, it just looks really cool to me. And sometimes, you know, Flashy graphics are amazing and they're really awesome, but sometimes the most simple and basic graphics can have such charm to them. Okay, my friends. So we're doing pretty good now. As you can see, our electricity is green, our water is green, and our labor is increasing. Fresh air is blowing throughout our world. Money's an issue. Money is always an issue, it seems. And we're going to jump over here with any, any of these types of games. It always seems like money is just a, a struggle. Okay, so what we're going to look for here is a shop and I, I seem to have lost it. I lost my shop. Oh, there you are retail shop. You little sneaky little retail shop. You're always getting away from me. So as you can see, it's inputs, things it's needs is labor, electricity and consumers. Do we have consumers? Oh, we do have consumers. So we're gonna select this, okay? And I'm gonna place it right here because I would like to maybe do another quarter going this way. So I'm just going to rotate that around like so and I'm gonna place that right there. Now you might be noticing some of the highlighted blocks. Sometimes it'll do a little flash. That means that that particular block has produced something towards your world. So we've just introduced this and we're going to check our money and see how we're doing. How are we? So what we can do also, let's see this a little more easily, is to look at this. So as you can see, the rate of production is moving and I don't know what synergy is at the moment. Let me know if you've started playing this yet. Um, what synergy does it might mean if you if maybe different blocks that kind of work together are next to each other that might create some form of uh, synergy I like that word really hmm. anyway should name like a cat synergy hey little synergy okay we're getting way off track um okay uh let's see how are we doing over here money is still an issue money is still an issue so what are we going to do to fix that? We're going to add another little retail shop. That's right. We're going to add another one right there. This will be kind of a Scar City's retail zone, okay? And then over here is our residential area. Makes sense. Residential area. You got the nice little uh, thing about Bob's over there. All right. I'm going to add one more of these guys over here. And then let's jump into our, what is it? Oh, data visuals. Okay. So we're going to check our rate of decay. As you can see, everything is perfect right now. Nothing is being decayed. Uh, I think our water and electricity is good, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, we got an issue here. Got an issue. Production data. See if the unit has been... Oh, there we go. It's producing. Perfect. Everything is slowly in balance. See, that's what's great about this. Let's see. Let's click out of here. Hold on. How do I, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? It's not wanting to get rid of... <laughs> it's not wanting to get rid of it's not that oh sorry my, my mistake there anyway um what's great about this is you know you could have like a perfect city right now you know it's it's producing it's green all around but once we want to start adding education different things like that more production it's uh it always introduces another new challenge going vertical is going to be a fun stage of this particular uh, series but what i want to know from you guys is what do you think so far how are you liking the game you like the concept of the game 
you like the uh, the style of it i i personally do I've, I've had a lot of fun i've been playing this for a little while and i just find it to be a really charming game just to play to have some fun with and it's it, it looks complicated and daunting at first kind of the inputs outputs but it's really simple once you just kind of look at it for a while play it a little bit and you start to really feel the uh the style of it is actually really simple and uh pretty intuitive okay um how are we doing so far our consumers are a little down how do we fix consumer issues like, let's take a look here let's take a look here we can introduce a large flat within our world and as you can see what those outputs is youth gray water which is poop i'm just going to point that out there i'm going to throw that out there gray water it's poop and then organic waste and of course consumers and apparently leisure is a sourdough loaf of bread which just looks really good anyway so what I want to do is I want to introduce these blocks, but what if I wanted to introduce them vertically? That's right. We're going to go vertical, my friends. We're going to introduce these guys up here like that. All right. We're going to get a little fancy. I like to get a little fancy once in a while. Here we go. And then we're going to add these across here. Now, an issue we, we're going to contend with is money. So I'm going to take a look at our money at the moment and we're producing money. Oh, our fresh air is an issue. Water is an issue. And leisure is an issue. Okay. Okay, we got this. So water is an issue. So I'm going to fix that right now. So I'm going to jump over here. And as you can see, here's our water tower. This takes $1 or one, one money point away from us. So I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to double check in by inspecting this to make sure that it's connected. See how it's connected to these blocks via the blue arrows instead of the, re the red arrows. So this is producing. Perfect. So we have that. Our electricity is a little bit of an issue also. So let's just uh, sneak on over here and uh, give that a quick little fix. Come on, where are you? There you are. So what we can do is just, um, we can just throw in an extra one over here just for now. I just wanna make sure we're, we're doing okay electricity wise. And I think we're good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add an elevator. The problem here is I don't remember where the elevator is. So I might have to just do a staircase. I think stairs are free. <laughs> I don't think stairs cost, oh no, it costs money. It costs money, everything costs money, right? All right, let's see if we can get this set up here. Let's do, let's do, let's, let's think about the elevator. I'm going to do the elevator. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to spend that extra money. I want my people to be happy and productive. And there we go. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these structure pieces. Okay. If I can find the structure allows you to create supports for larger buildings that don't need access. Um, okay. Hold on here, my friends. I'm going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. Let's do something like this. Let's do something like this. And we're gonna do something like that. And we're gonna take out our quarter and we're gonna place that on top. This will just create a nice little balcony for our houses to be up there. And then we're going to select this and we're gonna place that on top. And now we have ourselves what looks to be a super -de duper awesome second story to our larger flats, which I think is pretty darn cool. Okay, wonderful. I think that is coming out great. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to increase the size of our trees. As you can see, our trees are relatively small. So for now, I'm gonna place these over here because our water level is pretty good. Eventually we can put another water tower right there and I think that'll be pretty good. But I'm gonna place those there. That'll increase our water. And as you can see, doing pretty darn good. Next thing I wanna do here is add, I think I'm gonna add a school. I feel like that's a good foundation once you get the youth into your world is to start to add some of these particular blocks. So this line going across here, I think will separate some of our more industrial items within our world. And I think this area might have some more industrial things. And I think the first thing we're gonna do is add our school. Now remember my friends, never to put down the sand. <laughs> there we go. So now we have introduced a school. Let's see what issues have applied here. We're losing money. Okay, we're doing good on our, you know, our basics, electricity, water, things of that nature, which I'm, I'm happy about. Um, as you can see, our youth is a little of an issue, but I think we can fix our money pretty quick. So let's jump over here and let's just find something that produces money. Uh, factory. Let's see. Factory hmm, produces some sickness. I don't like that. We might need hospitals and things of that nature to fix the sickness. So... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply another retail shop. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, can I, can I actually attach that to there? Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. We can attach our retail shops up here. So our people in our flats, they barely even need to leave their house to go get their, you know, their, um, 
you know, their needs and things of that nature. And that looks pretty darn cool. And there we go, my friends. I think that's a really great start to our first episode, showing you guys the basics of Blockhood. Now, definitely let me know if this is something you guys would like to see more of, because, man, I just had a ton of fun playing this, and hopefully you had a ton of fun watching it. And yeah, so if you guys have any uh, suggestions for our next episode, definitely let me know. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And my friends, hello. These are not the droids you are looking for. <laughs> Wonderful, my friends. This is super awesome. So, like I said, you have a lot of different options. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't remember this from the movie. <laughs> there we go. Oh, boy. We need to get back on our wheels. There we go. So, you can make this a static vehicle, you know, for showpieces, or you can have it fully functional like the one we have.